Hello girls and boys, welcome to Elementor Tips and Tricks video clips. I already made one tutorial on this subject, however just recently I figured out how to do overlapping colors much simpler, cleaner and quicker way. This new method includes usage of custom CSS panel, so be sure to have Elementor Pro. Simply because custom CSS panel is unfortunately not a part of the free version of Elementor. So here I have already finished examples of overlapping colors and I'm just going to replicate these. I'm going to show you step by step how these two were created, okay? And at the very bottom I also have included an example of overlapping colors from my previous video on that subject, which might seem a little bit odd visually here in editor because it uses an extra photo for the purpose of responsiveness. However, it doesn't require Elementor Pro and in case you're interested to know how it was done, you can find a link to that video in the description below. So unlike the previous method, the new one looks much cleaner in editor. Let's just do the job. First, I'm going to create new section on the very top by clicking on, uh, on that plus icon of existing section. Next, I'm going to drag and drop spacer widget onto my section just to initiate section and column. Plus the fact I'm going to need that spacer a little bit later anyway. Now let's add first some margin to top and bottom of, of the section just to let it breathe a little bit. Okay, 100 pixels will be just fine. So why do I need that spacer? Because my image column will use background image instead of image widget, spacer is needed to actually make the background image visible. Okay? Let me show you. If I remove the, the, the spacer from my existing example, you can see that the background image disappears. That's why the spacer. Something must exist inside the column that you plan to, to show the background image with. Alright. Uh, in order, now, in order to create to create a new column in my section, I could right mouse click and select add new column. As you can see, I have a simple section with two columns inside. However, because I'm about to actually replicate things, I can simply copy paste entire column. How? Here is how. Right mouse click on a target column, copy, then right mouse click on the existing column and simply paste. That's how you can duplicate any column with all the widgets inside. Why did I copy the column from the bottom most example? Simply because that very column doesn't have or include any margin set in top and bottom, while these two new examples include margins, which I'm about to add later anyway. You're gonna see what I'm talking about very soon. Now I have to add the image to my first column. Watch closely what I'm going to do because this is the secret of overlapping columns, the trick of today's tutorial, okay? First, highlight the column by clicking on a column icon. Next, select Style tab. Expand background panel if not already expanded, then hit Classic button to declare background type. That's all you gotta do here. No need to define any background color nor select any image from media library, just declare background type. What we actually need is background overlay panel instead. In if we don't initiate background the way I show you, background overlay panel remains hidden. Take a look. If I turn the background off, background overlay panel disappears. All right, that's why. So instead of setting the background image of my column by using background panel, I'll set it up using background overlay panel. Everything is almost identical with regards to options. So background type will be classic. Now let me pick the background image. Insert media. Position will be center center. Repeat no repeat and size will be cover. No need for opacity so set it to 100% aka 1. That's all. But what's the point of using background overlay? Let me briefly explain. It's quite simple. Background overlay is an extra layer that sits on top of the column or section. It's a div element, div element, an empty one. You cannot add any text or widget to it, but you can define the background. It just sits on top of the column or section to let you create some really nice overlay effects. You have CSS filters, blend mode, etc. And that's maybe going to be the subject of another tutorial. So only sections and columns can have background overlay in Elementor. 
But what's interesting about background overlay is the fact that this element is absolutely positioned in relation to the column or section, which in turn means that you can manipulate its size and position. By default, it's going to be is going to take 100% of both width and height of the column or section itself. Parent column or parent section more precisely. Now let me show you how to how that absolutely positioned element can work on our behalf to create overlapping columns. As I mentioned it at the beginning, we'll need custom CSS panel because we gotta do some custom CSS code. Nothing too hard or tricky, just a few easy to understand lines. So with image column highlighted, I'm going to open advanced tab and expand custom CSS panel. As usually, I'm going to start with selector keyword, because in Elementor, selector refers to currently selected elements. Hence the fact we are dealing with background overlay element, we need, that, we need an access to that very element, so to speak. Background overlay is a child element of our column, aka selector. All right, so we can access our background overlay element by using its class name. Class name of background overlay element in Elementor is, guess what? Elementor background overlay. So after selector, I'll continue with Elementor background overlay. Open, close, curly brackets. What I'm up, what I'm about to do is to manipulate width of background overlay because I have to push it over the column boundaries. All right, stretch it, make it bleed into my text column. So I'll simply type in width, width, and I'm gonna use I don't know 140 percent. Okay, it means that I have extended my background overlay element by 40 percent to the right hand side. You cannot see anything yet. But if I add margin to top and bottom, as I said at the beginning of my tutorial, you'll be able to see it. All right. So highlight my text column by clicking on the column icon, advanced tab, advanced panel. Now unlink margin values, select percentage unit, and let's add 10% to top and 10% margin to bottom. As simple as that. All right. You can actually play with different values for top and bottom margins if you like to, but we'll use 10% in top and bottom for the purpose of this tutorial. You can even remove bottom margin if you like to for a different effect, if you like to, of course. And that's it. That's how overlapping works. If you need bigger overlapping section, you can use greater value than 140%. You can use 160. You can even use 200. 2000. <laughs> 200. Okay. As simple as that. Now let's check responsiveness, okay? I'm gonna click responsive mode button and select tablet first. It looks fine in tablet mode. Now mobile, well it's not good anymore. Why? Because our background overlay element is 140 percent wide, horizontal scroller takes place as you can see. The image is as tall as the spacer widget itself and our text column has top and bottom margin that's why there's a gap between image and text. So let's fix all of that. First I'm going to add some padding to top and bottom of my image column which will make it taller. Okay? Highlight the image column by clicking on the column icon, advanced tab, advanced panel. Now unlink padding values. Uh, select percentage unit and let's add 30% padding to top and 30 to bottom. Alright, it looks much better now. Now I'm gonna highlight uh, the text column, okay, and I'm gonna enter 0. I'm gonna enter 0 into margin column. No need to unlink anything here. All four sides may retain 0 margin. That's just fine. At last, we gotta get rid of the horizontal scroller by getting background overlay element with back to 100%. It's 140, okay? That's why we got a scroller. So highlight our image column again. Advanced tab, custom CSS panel. Now, in order to fix width for mobile devices, we'll need media query. You can think of it as an exception in CSS rules. 
and we gotta let browser know about that mobile devices exception that's why we need media query what is media query media query is the clause according to which browser knows how to render certain class or element with a class at a certain screen resolution so let's do our media query here is how we define one all right add media open close a pair of normal then a pair of curly brackets then I'm gonna type in max width 767 pixels all right now I'll just have to copy my initial chunk of CSS code I'll just copy and paste between my media query brackets with a little exception of course and the exception is with property which is going to be 100% okay and as you can see the issue has been resolved for mobile devices no horizontal scroller anymore all right and that's it but how about how about placing image to the opposite side what difference does it make well I guess not much there's actually one little catch to it so I wanted to show I want to show it to you first I'll just duplicate entire section no need to start from scratch okay so right mouse click on on a section grip icon and duplicate all right now I'm gonna grab my text column and simply drag it onto the image column elementary we do the column switch okay let's select first different image for media library uh, style background overlay and let's pick this one insert all right in order to compensate the axis of 40 percent I'll have to move background overlay element to the left hand side instead of the right hand side I can do that by using left CSS property highlight the image column advanced custom CSS panel and I'm gonna use left property okay left and I'm gonna type in minus 40% in order to move it 40% to the left hand side that's why minus 40% so that's how I compensate the axis of 40% and let's now bring our text box to front because it's hidden by the by the image and uh, so highlight the text box column advanced and I'm gonna add Z index I don't know two two will be fine be sure to use Z index value greater than the, the, the image column which is zero by default okay and it all looks fine let's check responsiveness responsive mode tablet as usually tablet is fine mobile well it's not good anymore our image is still pushed to the left hand side by 40 percent and the columns order might be more intuitive for instance I would like to keep the image on top of the text column instead in bottom so here is how I fix all that first I'm going to fix that offset of 40 percent so I'm gonna highlight the image column highlight the image column select advanced tab uh, custom CSS panel and I'm gonna type in left zero into my media query alright that will position background overlay element to zero regarding the left hand side left zero as simple as that and finally I have to switch I have to switch column positions which is quite simple because Elementor has that very option built in it actually all comes down to one simple mouse click so highlight the section uh, advanced tab responsive panel and then I'm gonna turn on reverse columns for mobile devices alrighty and that's it that's gonna be it for today I know that this tutorial is sharing the subject with the one I already made a while ago but I think this is okay because this one provides totally different approach or at least you have the alternative and alternatives are always handy right anyhow if you like this tutorial give me a thumb up comment share spread the word anything you do will be fine 
and if you do so I'll make more elementor tips and tricks video stay tuned thanks for the support